All right, welcome back everybody to Altcoin Daily. My name is Aaron. Your one Bitcoin could be worth a lot of money someday. Case in point, in a leaked series of slides, it has now been revealed to us that Goldman Sachs is advising their clients on a regular basis to buy Bitcoin. So in the report, they talk about when to buy Bitcoin, where to buy Bitcoin, at what price levels will Bitcoin be at in the future. And in this video, I'm gonna show you everything. Hey, make no mistake about it. This is financial advice. Now it's not from me, and it's definitely not meant for you. It is from Goldman Sachs to their privileged institutional elite clientele. So according to the report, and you're welcome to read the whole thing yourself, links are in the description, Goldman Sachs is advising their clients to buy now. Really, there are three main takeaways, in my opinion, three of them. So number one, the takeaway is Goldman Sachs is short-term bullish. Number two, Goldman Sachs is long-term bullish. And then number three, well, well, we'll get to number three in a second, but let's start with number one. So short-term, a pullback from here should find support near or around $11,094. As long as it avoids any contact with 10,791, there is still room for one more leg higher towards 12,916 and 13,971. Let me repeat that. Let me clarify this. The green area right here is where Goldman Sachs expects Bitcoin to range in the short term. Of course, that's assuming we don't drop below the pink line first. So that was the short term. And now let's get to my takeaway number two, Goldman Sachs long term thoughts. That being said, in the bigger scheme of things, this might still be the first leg of another five wave count similar to the trend that lasted from December 2018 to June 2019. Well, I'm no Elliott Wave expert, but I think I can figure this out. So let's go from December 2018 to June 2019, and we'll move this here. This is what Goldman Sachs thinks is probable mid to long term, and it looks very bullish to me. Said another way, any retracement from 12,916 through 13,971 should be viewed as an opportunity to buy on weakness as long as it doesn't retrace further uh, further than 9,084 low. Tactically higher targeting between 12,916 and 13,971 might hold, once reached, consolidate for a good period of time before resuming higher. And that's it. That is all she wrote. So the question is, does Goldman Sachs' analysis mean anything significant to you? Well, I mean, in the past, you know, they usually, everybody knows Goldman Sachs. When Goldman Sachs gives reports, they usually talk about the traditional assets. And when Goldman Sachs talks, traditional participants usually listen. So take that for what it's worth. I, really, the main takeaway for me is this is my number three, the big takeaway, is that we have come a long way to have Goldman Sachs include Bitcoin analysis in their regular reports. Because you have to remember, just two years ago, just three years ago, Bitcoin was almost a cuss word for these people. And let me remind you of this. In an interview from November of 2017, the CEO of Goldman Sachs, after brushing off the question multiple times, is finally cornered near the end of the interview. And the interviewer provokes him and says, you have to be thinking of an investment strategy with Bitcoin. I cannot believe you are not. And this is what he says. But Lloyd, so that raises the question, you have to be thinking about an investment banking strategy with Bitcoin. I can't no, believe that you're not. No, I don't have to be thinking <laughs> right. about that. You want to tell me that you're not you talking to any of your me. guys. What? You're not talking to your no, guys about what the strategy is going to be. I hear it and I do it, be. but it was spending too long. It's just, you know, we'll see. If it works out and it gets more established and it trades like a, uh, like a store of value and it doesn't move up and down 20% and there's liquidity in it, you know, we'll get to it. But you asked me, the, the, the original question was, when do small business people have to think about their Bitcoin strategy? I'd worry about opening the doors, producing things that people want to buy, well, dealing with their, you know, business so planning. All right. Times they are changing. This is incredibly long-term bullish, in my opinion. It's another positive fundamental that to me suggests that Bitcoin will be at a higher price point in the future. 
Actually, it seems like 2019 is becoming the year of the institutional interest in the crypto space and probably will be remembered as such. Hey, by the way, if, if you're watching this video, if you got value from what I just showed you, do me a favor, give this video a thumbs up, support the channel, like the video, and if you are bullish on Bitcoin, you have my blessing, spam up the comments with little tiny rocket ships, and let's transition into some recent news. New Zealand tax office makes it legal to pay salaries in cryptocurrency. In its August bulletin, the Inland Revenue Department, the IRD, published a new ruling under the Income Tax Act that states that an employee can be paid salaries in crypto assets as long as the payments are for services performed under an employment contract or for a fixed amount and form a regular part of the employee's remunerations. The new ruling, signed on June 27th by the agency's Director of Public Rulings, Susan Price, will apply for three years from September 1st, 2019. So this starts in about two to three weeks. Previously under New Zealand's law, salaries were only payable in money, effectively the New Zealand dollar. So this is clearly a big deal. I mean, I'm, I'm sure I don't need to tell you this is another country or another domino really falling down. The snowball that is Bitcoin is uh, getting bigger as, as it rolls down the hill. And I'm sure I don't need to tell you about snowballs as they get bigger and bigger, they become harder and harder to stop. Next piece of news, this is actually a breaking news story. The SEC has delayed decisions on three Bitcoin ETF proposals. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, the SEC, delayed making a decision on three Bitcoin exchange-traded funds ETFs proposed Monday. The ETFs proposed earlier this year by asset managers Bitwise, Asset Management, VanEck, SolidX, and Wilshire Phoenix, and filed with exchanges the New York Stock Exchange Arca and CBOE BZX are all seeking to become the first such investment vehicles based on Bitcoin. Final decisions on the Bitwise and VanEck SolidX proposals are expected by October 13th and October 18th, respectively, and the next decision on the Wilshire Phoenix proposal is scheduled to occur by September 29th, blah, blah, blah. I mean, these SEC delays are becoming like the new China ban, right? It's like, it doesn't affect the market. It's all priced in, it's all expected, but eventually these will get approved, uh, and when they do, uh, it'll be a good, good thing long term. Let's just finish up today's video. What do you want to do? You want to take a quick look at Twitter. Okay, what's going on? From Tur Demister, Bitcoin is the dot com of digital gold. It's Times Square. It's Big Ben. Altcoins, ICOs, and forks are the dot nets. A hotel you like but forget. And I do like that. I'm going to retweet this. You can look for this on our Twitter. As you know, our Twitter is at altcoindailyio. For those of you who have been asking, yes, uh, my brother and I, we both do videos on this channel. Aaron, which is me and then Austin, we are crypto investors, enthusiasts. And even though we are called Altcoin Daily, our portfolio is mostly Bitcoin. What else is going on on the, uh, on the old Twitter? Let's see. The amount of Bitcoin that flows into Coinbase but not out is pretty remarkable. Interesting. Capital flow breakdown. Okay, a little bit confusing, but you can see. What else, guys? Anything else? When explaining Bitcoin, be sure they understand why Bitcoin before what is Bitcoin. Most don't understand money, let alone why they should spend their time thinking about Bitcoin. History and math is on our side. Just get them to think twice and Bitcoin does the rest. Yes, I like that. Oh my, I've already got a retweet and a like. Nice. What else? I think that's it, my friends. All right, if you are new to the channel, feel free to, oh, Tumblr went from unicorn to a valuation lower than most pre-seed companies. There are hundreds of others that are overvalued in the private market. The corrections will be brutal. All right, not really having much to do with Bitcoin in this case. Pomp, you have a certain expectation you set when you tweet and you need to keep it Bitcoin or else you're gonna lose the audience. Just kidding. 
All right, guys, if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe, and we will see you tomorrow. We've been on a, on a spree of great videos lately, and more to come. Uh, 2019, I think, as I've said this whole year, it's a great year to accumulate Bitcoin, and this is what I'm expecting to happen in the coming years. See you tomorrow.